Guys, I'm powered up Mike, and this is something new. Yeah, I'm gonna be sh doing this video showcasing the Tinkerton map, Loon's Tower Defense 6. Well, mainly the Jim's mode. My strategy on how I usually do it. Now, usually you just gotta sit back and just, you know. Let the balloons run their course. Slowly but surely, you'll be able to get money for upgrades. I go for the top path with the dark monkey, mainly because the juggernaut spike ball. It's good for crushing. I mean, it's less effective for popping, but for the camo leads and other, you know, fortified balloons, it'll come in handy. And yes, enhanced eyesight is helpful. Now, I chose Sada mainly because how on level 1 she can already detect camo balloons. And leaping sword attack, that's a lifesaver in certain spots. Again, just... Patient. Yeah, these usually take about like 20 or so minutes. At least 20 minutes. An average chimp map. So yeah, just buckle in and get ready for the ride. Now I like to use the submarine monkey. But I'm also going to put down a monkey buccaneer. Mainly because the monkey buccaneer's middle path is a monkey firing. That's pretty helpful. And the top path for monkey sub I like. It's also pretty useful. Just be careful with with Tinkerton's little orange pool. Just make sure you don't put your monkey sub in a position where, well, you block off any other towers from fitting in. Just be mindful of that. These first couple of rounds shouldn't be that difficult. Again, Sada does a pretty good job slicing everything. What's nice about, you know, several of the easier maps in Blue's Tower Defense 6 is with chimps, you don't have to, like, do everything the, like, a certain way. Like, there's a lot of, you know, what's the word? I guess you could call it creativity to what you're, you know, doing and how you lay out your maps. Before I upgrade the Dark Monkey, let's upgrade some of the smaller towers. Advanced Intel, that one's pretty helpful earlier on. But of course, you want it to get 4 to 0. Yeah. I would personally I like to save up before I upgrade to tier 4 because I can do it all at once because it doesn't attack while submerged and yeah that's just not my style I mean everybody plays differently but hey this is my method of you know clearing the map Juggernaut. I wouldn't worry much about the Dark Monkey after this. The Ultra Juggernaut. I don't know. Like with all, considering the other tower doors, I'll be adding in. I don't know if it's exactly worth it. But I will add a new gunner. I'll upgrade this guy a little bit. I put him closer to the edge, mainly because I'm gonna put in. Village. Ooh, yes, I got him. We can give him a little boost with the top path. Jungle drums. Which, of course, can help boost Sada. While I'm at it, I'll add in a spike factory. 
That's where Leaping Swords comes in handy, my friends. Yeah, I still... I really should, you know, just save up and get the top half of the submarine here. Always go for... Whenever, like... Always, like, try to cover as much area, especially around with corners. Sub. We'll go have enough money now. Of course, anything that gets in that red radius will be popped. Upgrade our spike. I go for two, four, or two, five, zero. Whatever you can really get. Primary thing. That'll come in handy. Again, it's the blue strike and blue storm you want. That stuff can work wonders. Especially with the DDT season later around. Blue hoes, I'll take that. I guess I'll put the bike factory here. A four or five zero two, my preferred way to go. Again, it's the ring of fire that you want. Any tier 5 upgrades are nice, but the one I would recommend prioritizing is Blue Storm. Mainly because how it can hit DDTs. And of course, I think it like D it takes off the lead properties of these two. Now, if I can get camo from uh, any, you know, if I can get camo from the monkey village, y'all just skip the top path for ice monkey. Just go with the bottom path. Prioritize the bottom path. And, yeah, you can get the deep freeze upgrade. But if you weren't able to do it, get with the top path because hey, you will need those camo. I can use in a bomb shooter. Again, middle path, mob mauler. You're going to need that, especially with the mob assassin ability. That will come in handy later on. Trust me, it will. And faster production helps. darts, ranger rotors, but I'll just go with the faster darts, since I already have camo properties from the monkey village. Again, the razor rotors, that's the key upgrade you should go after, and yes, mob shredder, spike storm, it'll come in handy, it'll save you in a pinch. I guess what's next are the super monkeys. my first super monkey here. Since I don't have any camo detection, I'll go with two, zero, and whatever I can get down here. Usually it's a two, zero, three path. Because, yeah, like, the bottom tier upgrades get pretty expensive. And, of course, you only have so much money in chimps mode. So you gotta go with what you got, I guess. And of course, the Dark Knight Blade, the Pierce is pretty helpful, and of course, the Knockback, Camo Detection helps big time. Maybe I'll hold off on it. So many upgrade choices, so many to pick. I'll upgrade this to camo. Let's see, what else? Hmm. I 
guess the water must be even strong enough. I've used him on some things, but now that I think about it, I do like using the dartling gunner. I'm just gonna lock him into place like such. Two. Middle, go with whatever you can. Emphasize the middle path. Hydro rocket pods and those upgrades for rocket storm. They're what you want. Maybe I should save up for the blue storm. Because I know that's very useful. Blue storm and spike storm. Yeah, the storms. Rocket storm. They'll, they'll be helpful. Actually. Not enough money, but that's the point. Okay, we'll, we'll have a Satsum Hall. I guess increased range for my primary will be helpful. I'll upgrade that. Again, Dark Knight Blades. Whenever you can upgrade them, do it. Just do it. Again, the real challenge, I don't think, comes into play until, like, the 90s round. Rounds 95 and 98 are honestly some of the toughest in the game. Yeah, I'll save. I'll just upgrade to a spike storm because that'll come in handy in a pinch. It does a pretty good job knocking out a lot of, of what's on screen. Right. Oh, icicles. I didn't know I missed that up. Again, this is just a little guide to show you how I would normally do it. Well, there's some trial and error, of course. Save up for the pirate, monkey pirates. Because, of course, the blob takedown ability, that'll come in handy. And, of course, with the camo detection card, if you take down the DDTs, which is huge. Again, I'll just let the abilities charge up for when you need them. Now I'll just wait for Blue Storm. Again, setting up a good offense, or I guess in this case a good defense here, it should hold off everything. And again, you have some of the abilities. So of course, that ZOMG, that comes in round 80. Yeah. It shouldn't be that much of a hassle to work, you know. Big and slow, but very tough. Leaping sword. I'll have a fast See, not, mu not much to worry about for now. Okay, we're almost that blue storm. The whole screen covered with blue for 20 seconds. That's huge. You know, the fact that it can hit everything, I feel like it's one of the more useful ones. In like other maps, like less difficult maps and you know challenges, I'll use the sniper monkey, but. I don't think I'll use it today. I, mean, I guess in other times I would, but just not today. Next up, I'll upgrade to Dark Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna get that first, especially with the extra Pierce and knockback. Yeah, you'll need that, I can assure you. When I get a chance, I'll upgrade to hydro rocket pad. I need, I need like five thousand more dollars for cash. 
And yes, this is without the whole cash mode. Would they even, would they even let you use double cash mode? I go for, of course, glass, well, glass and whatever you can get with the middle tower. Again, having, you know, a super monkey with camo detection is pretty helpful. But especially... Yeah, you can really get a lot of range, especially with the middle path. Why settle for super when you can have epic? When I was eight years old, that was pretty much my favorite word to say, epic. When I was eight years old, I first started playing this tower defense. Well, back when it was still a flash. Oh, how far we've come. But man, gaming's changed a lot in 14, 15 years. From when the Super Speed 4 first came out. Okay, DDT. That's when you would use the glue strike. That's when it's most helpful. Robo monkeys, critical hits. That's a huge boost. But again, save the blue strikes for when the DDTs are on screen. You technically can slow down the game by like turning off like the auto start for the round. And like turning off fast forward. Looks like I guess it comes back to the fact of having more towers with, I guess, less upgrades, because there's only one that I have, a tier 5. I've already mentioned this. That's the one where it's... Uh-oh. That's gonna slow things down. I, yeah, I don't think I'd use any more primary ones. Okay. Yep, this is the big one. Yeah, there's no... I wouldn't go out with the fire either. Yeah, don't launch the blue strike until after the DDT's first spawn on screen. Spikes, once the rockets form. Okay, 
pull in the pirates. This round is not over yet. Huh, I thought there were more. Okay. Now! You have the primary expertise. Well, that one's a pretty sharp. Again, there's trial and error, and of course, BAD. I was, like this one, it's not as intimidating as it seems. And there you go. That's how you do it. Completed this track. No, on hard? No, we completed it on chimps, and so... Tinkerton Chimps Complete. Thank you for watching, and I hope this little strategy video helps. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.